much are they? Nine, nine ninety. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Well, today we are in Hanover, Pennsylvania, and we are at the Goodwill. Uh, we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. So the last time I was here at this Goodwill, I started in the purses and I had pretty good luck. I found a Kate Spade and a Juicy Couture. This time I found a purse with a star on it. At first I was like, is that Dallas Cowboys? No, Jocelyn, it's not. Um, <laughs> it's actually Loungefly and it's a Marvel purse so I know the backpacks sell pretty well I'm assuming the purses will sell pretty well um, so I definitely just shove that right in my cart I'm gonna check what else we have here I like the quilted look to that one what is this one bueno all right, well, I'm happy with the lounge fly purse. Let's move on. I lied, I didn't move on. I stayed and I looked again and I found this. Um, the first thing I noticed were these. I thought, wow, those are kind of blingy and they're heavy. They feel like good quality. Now, the silver is wearing off a little bit on those, but I opened it up. I'm like, what brand is that? Oh, look, it's Brighton. I've only ever found the Brighton totes before. I don't think I've ever found a Brighton purse. Um, I don't know much about the condition of this, if it could be um, polished with some leather cleaner or I don't know. I know nothing about cleaning leather, <laughs> but I feel like Brighton's a good, a good brand as long as it's, um, as it, one is legit. So let's just make sure we don't miss anything else. I'm glad I lingered just a moment. This one down here. Moda Lux. That one's got some of that same bling on it. This one is Coldwater Creek. Okay, well, and now I am moving on to the hard goods for real. It looks like they are restocking the shelves. <laughs> they must have got here just at the right time. I'm starting over at this end today because I have pretty good luck in the white and the clear section at this Goodwill. I have no idea why, but it just seems to always happen that way. What is this? That's an interesting pattern. It's a daisy and button. I don't know. I've never seen one like that before. It's kind of weird. There's someone's creation. See the yellow vase because I see the yellow vase and I'm going for it. What do we have here? I think it's modern, probably home goods or something. It's $3.99 though. And you guys know I'm a sucker for yellow. $3.99, we'll stick that in here. And then I wanted to get a look at this elephant. Yeah, it looks like they pulled the tusks out. Um, every time I come across these, they're missing their tusks. I don't know if they're actually like ivory tusks. I feel like they're plastic tusks, but um, they always get pulled out. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Glittery. There's quite a bit of art glass here today. Um, I believe it's all home goods, but you can see there's one over on that end cap. And then I was noticing this one over here. Ooh, what is that? Let's look at that. I like that. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I don't like it as much now that I'm close up. <laughs> Looks pretty. What is that? That is um, fancy pottery. <laughs> this is kind of funny looking. Is it soap? Some sort of soap. Oh, Jefferson cups. What in the box? See, I've never seen them in the box before. Every time I find these, <laughs> they're always all scratched up and nasty, but these ones are still in the box. Um, I don't know. How much are they? Nine, nine ninety. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, checking out the mugs. ROC. Noel, this one is personalized. Okay, here is the clear section. Let's start down at this end, I feel like. That's a shame that that's missing its uh, lid. Who makes that? The Republic of Tea. I actually wanted to check these out, but that looks like somebody just used like caulk or something and put it on some votives. So those weren't nearly as exciting as I thought they were gonna be. There's some Jones soda bottles. <laughs> we 
you should just recycle those and don't donate them. These are interesting. They've got a... Oh, they're plastic. That's why they look funny. There is a serving dish with a heavy silver overlay on it. I wonder if that's Silver City. $2.99. It's a nice pattern, but I'm going to pass on it. So not much in the clear today. I think we're going to wander down to the more colorful aisles and see if we have any luck. What is going on down here? Oh, that's a garden statue. $9.99. She's very sweet with her bunny rabbits. Oh, I kind of like that. Should I get it and put it in my garden? Or lack thereof garden? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I don't need anything. I don't need it. Those have a pretty pattern on them. Threshold. Oh, could it be? No, it's not. <laughs> Someone posted in my group recently. They found like seven at one Goodwill, and I could not believe it. I mean, I could believe it. I thought it was amazing, but I was like, why can't I find just one? It appears as though somebody donated uh, their resin collection because I'm finding them all over the place. This is a dollar ninety-nine. Don't know if these are paperweights. There's a couple of them. These ones are pretty. <laughs> the glitter. I, I mean, I kind of like them. I don't know though. Is that a smart resale decision? I like them. I don't know. I guess. There's no resale value, I might just stick them on my desk. What is this shiny thing? Oh, it's a makeup makeup holder. There's two of them there. So I'm not really quite sure what this is. It's a buck ninety-nine. I think it's like a craft piece. But stick that in there. Um, I did grab this while I was on the phone with Andrew. I didn't film it. Uh, every time I find one of those, I always stick it in my cart, hoping to find the rest of it. But no such luck yet. Malaysia. I think that's the tiniest version of that I've ever seen for a dollar ninety-nine. We look at this. Wow. That's beautiful. Two ninety-nine. It's a hand-painted enamel. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Is it modern? Is it old? I don't know. The paint looks to be more contemporary just because it's in such great shape. I find these a lot of the times and the paint is just all worn off or chipped. $2.99. It's almost too good to be true, do you know what I mean? We'll just stick that in there for safekeeping. What is this? Sunny No Folk Art and Crafts. Happy Cat. This is a... Uh... So is this a pattern? Let's look. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take a peek. I feel like it's a pattern for making this folk art cat. <laughs> Happy Cat. Read all the instructions. Refer to photo before starting. Oh, it is a pattern. Oh, look at his face. Pretty neat. I don't know anything about making stuff with needles, sewing. I don't know anything about that. This is fun. There are actually some of these listed, um, the patterns anyway. They sell for about eh, five to ten dollars. I don't know if it's necessarily worth picking up. Although it is only a buck ninety-nine. There's some money to be made there, and I think I think we'll rescue this from the goodwill. Can't rescue everything, but we'll rescue that. Check out this thing. <laughs> that's interesting. I wonder if that's a craft piece. It's a really adorable cottage. A little fairy cottage. It's, it feels like it's made of styrofoam or something. What in the world is this thing down here? I have to investigate in $4.99. Oh my. Somebody's so, uh, like a bunch of, what is this? Is this supposed to be like flowers and stuff? And then there's just random googly eyed bunnies in there. It's pretty great. <laughs> $4.99. I like this, but it's sewn in there so I can't rescue him from the rest of it. 
That looks kind of fancy. What is that? Wherever. These are fancy handles. Here is another one of those owl pictures like I came across a while ago. Let me test this one. I don't see a price on it. Am I just holding it the wrong way? $4.99, of course I was holding it right over the price tag. It's only $4.99, but I think I'm gonna leave it like I left the last one. I do wanna check this out though. That looks like original artwork. $3.99 by Gladys Wenzlowski, 2020. Pretty colorful flowers. What is this one? That's kind of some na naive art. Looks to be a watercolor. This dish is kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> I can't tell if it's more contemporary though. It has this ox blood coloring to it, which is kind of nice. $4.99. I don't know if it's is it a dog dish or is it a ramekin? $4.99. You know what? We're going to try Google Lens. Alright, well I did a Google Lens search, so I basically searched on the picture. You can see here what I'm thinking of. It reminds me of these pieces. Um, that one looks pretty similar. A munch bowl. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know, it's got that same coloring. But I know there's a lot of modern pieces that they make in the style of this older pottery. I mean, that looks, I don't think it's a cup though. I think it's more of a dish. You know what, how much is it, $4.99? We'll take a shot on it for $4.99. While I was looking at that, I noticed this bag of ornaments. There is a, what is that? Is that resin? It might be resin. I was thinking it was uh, carved folk art, but it's not. There's some Williamsburg pottery. Williamsburg Restorations, $3.99. That's kind of more sloppy than a lot of the ones I've seen. I mean, it's not the best pottery. It doesn't sell for very much. There's something inside. That's why I'm reaching in. <laughs> it has its original tag there. How much is it? $3.99. Yeah, it just doesn't have the greatest resale value in my experience. What is this? That must be like a souvenir or something. This is really nice. I actually saw it in my first pass, um, but I feel like it would have had a, a teacup and I don't want to just be picking up random plates. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. This is this. It's a hobbyist piece with a giant crack. That is a lampshade. Is, it, is that bowl? No, it's definitely a lamp too. Okay, well, I don't think they are restocking anymore. And I've walked around quite a bit. Those are adorable, $3.99. I wonder if they're signed on the back. I might peel the tape back and see if these have any signatures. Well, I tried to separate them, but it's just coated in tape, so I can't actually see the back of those. I think I'm going to leave them without knowing. And uh, we are back where we started and we will give the clear section one more look, but I think, unless they will a fresh cart, we're probably going to start heading towards the exit. Here are a few more of the crackle glasses that I got last week. I got blue and pink and here are a few different Colors. How much are those? $1.99. I haven't listed those yet, so I feel like it would be worth picking these up and then um, lotting them all together. I am going to put this back before I leave because I wasn't able to find the rest of it. Who knows? Maybe it just hasn't been brought out yet and somebody else will be able to reunite them. What is this? Simple goodness. <laughs> That's adorable. Tubbles. This is really weird because I can't find anything like this. I searched on eBay and it's giving me carnival glass listings. After I searched um, simple goodness bowl and it's like, here's some carnival glass. No eBay, I don't want your carnival glass. So I don't know. It is enamel. 
I might try one more time to look it up. Okay, well, I even put the simple goodness in parentheses um, with the keywords enamel bowl, but nothing is coming up, so I don't know. Maybe that means it's super rare and valuable, but probably not. What are these strange things? Are they just decorative? Oh, they're threshold. <laughs> they're target decorations. Because everybody needs a pulley and stuff. Okay. Here is some Tupperware, I believe, right? This is Tupperware, right? It is a cake thing. $6.99 they have on it. Looks to be in pretty decent condition. Gosh, I don't do Tupperware. <laughs> but I think that this one, I, looked, I actually looked up Tupperware the other day and I sorted it from highest to lowest to gotta get a sense of what is worth the most money. I found that um, there's these colorful uh, storage containers that, you know, if you can find them in multiple sizes can be worth money. Um, and I recall seeing, I'm gonna just stick this in here, try to open it up and get a better look on the inside. Um, the cake thing I think was one of the ones that actually sold pretty decent. But look at the condition of this too. I mean, that looks like almost brand new. There's something inside, so I wanna get that open and check it out. Open, oh look. It has an actual stand on the inside, so it has all the pieces. And that could mean, make it worth more, since it's complete. So it's $6.99. I feel like the least it'll sell for is $20. I think I'm going to snatch that up. I mean, it is going to require a larger box, an oversized box. So I'm not sure what the cost of shipping that would be, but the good news is, is it's not breakable. Is this also Tupper it is also Tupperware. Wow, we're getting lucky all of a sudden. I don't know what this thing is though. It's got holes in the bottom and it's something inside. Oh my gosh. What? This one is, what? That one doesn't have all the pieces, but one's only $1.99. Oh my gosh, is that Tupperware? It's like the universe is like teasing me because I know nothing about this and I need to make a decision on it. What is inside? I need to know. All right, I'm gonna do one of those. Come on. It's one of those, of course. Everybody knew that but me. It's one of those things. What purpose does it serve? It has holes in the bottom. Is it a strainer? no idea. I'm going to try to look it up without knowing what it is. Here it is. It is the Tupperware four-piece vegetable rice steamer and it's supposed to have a bottom um, thingy on it. Looks like somebody has one listed for three bucks starting bid but no bites with only well six days to go. Um, so I'm gonna leave that behind. What is this? Is that a bicentennial thing possibly? Yes it is. Look it says right there on it. <laughs> Oh goodness, look at these guys. Pure of hearts. Originally, well, somebody was trying to sell them for 95 cents. This guy's missing his ears. Nothing better than a friend. How about cute? I was able to find a few of these that were sold and they sell for about eight bucks. This is $1.99. It's so adorable, but I think I'm gonna take it with me. <laughs> Oh, goodness. What is this? Whatever it is, it has Teflon. I think that's poisonous to my birds, so it's not something that I would use. Eva. Looks like a waffle maker. Check that out. $49.99. Also one that sold for $14.95, but this one looks to be in better condition. Here it is. New with the box, it sold for $89. So I think maybe I'll pick that up. It's a sliplet. We should probably, well, as I say, we should check that all the pieces are in there, but unfortunately, it's taped shut. We'll give it a shake and then we'll trust it. That's a great philosophy for life. Give it a shake and then trust it. When I was here the other day, they had these, um, this is lobster, uh, red lobster. 
There's a nice milk glass vase there, but not very exciting. I'm not going to spend too much time digging through here. I just kind of wanted to peek at it before we called it quits. That looks like depression glass. Uh, there's chipping on the edges. That's a shame. That one would probably glow under black light. Okay, so one thing I want to start doing is stopping to reflect on my cart before I leave for the day just to like weigh my decisions. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I think that maybe I could put this guy back. I mean, that's worth maybe like eight dollars. The glasses I think will do well when I pair them with the other glasses I have. This is really adorable. I mean, obviously I have some lower dollar items in here. This is just so sweet. I think that would look cute on my desk. So I'm gonna keep those and the dried flowers, the pattern. All right. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna head to the checkout with the rest of the stuff in our cart. Well, our total spend here at the Goodwill today was $53. I'd have to say I'm most excited about that purse, that lounge fly purse. Um, I picked up a backpack like last year. Just, it happened to be lounge fly. I'd never heard of the brand before, but I remember how well that sold and it definitely like stuck with me. And now I know that that's one of the brands to look for. So I'm very excited about the purse. Um, one, one of the things I want to start doing is I want to start like stopping before I leave just to evaluate what I have in my cart because a lot of the times like at the spur of the moment I'm just grabbing stuff and putting it in my cart and I think I really need to stop and pause and think about my decisions before I head to the checkout because um, a lot of the times I'll get back to the shop and I won't be excited I think that's the issue is like I'm not excited about listing some of the stuff so some of the stuff just sits like I'll list all the stuff I'm excited about and the rest of it just kind of sits so I really need to start just buying the stuff that I'm excited about so that means leaving some things behind um, some things that you guys may think oh my gosh you should have grabbed that um, but now that I'm the only one listing I do have help in other areas but I'm the only one listing I, I just need to pick up stuff that I'm going to want to list so um, I'm gonna start doing that I'm gonna start shopping before I check out to evaluate and think about my my life's decisions um, anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now uh, I'm gonna head on down the road I think there's a chick-fil-a and I have a hankering or a milkshake and I'm gonna get one um, so I guess I will see you guys tomorrow yeah that's the plan I'll see you guys tomorrow so long Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.